in the 21st century, nations have collapsed. From the ruins of war arise a society fueled by greed. Profiteering mega corporations provide protection and jobs to anyone who abides by their policies. The alternative, a criminal path. Street gangs engage in a constant power struggle against rival gangs and authorities. But there are some that have no interest in gang affiliations nor company citizenship. They only pledge allegiance to the highest bidder. Their title, Bounty Hunter. Their only objective, Hunt Down. Go. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. Fearsome for. No. Fearsome deadly Lieutenant Drakir at your service. No, D. Hang on, we did a mistake again. 
and welcome to Showcase Sunday number 93. I think we're close to 100 now. Uh, yeah, where we'll try out around four games, uh, possibly five, six, depending on how things go. I suspect we'll go into five or six today, because some games I don't think we'll spend too long on. But, uh, yeah. We'll be seeing if any of them are any good, or might be any good for streaming in full sometime later. And our first game is Hunt Down, which I really get the sneaking suspicion. Uh, there we go. That was me putting the, that was me pressing the wrong button on the controller because uh, this game, if you if you play it on keyboard, it on it's on the yeah, it defaults. Oh, actually, I just realized remember it's. I can set, stop the typical timer and just keep the 25 minute timer ready. I keep forgetting that. Uh, but yeah, this, this game, <clears throat> for some reason, it def when it's on the keyboard, it defaults to the arrow keys and the Z, X, C, and V keys for yeah, controls. Like a lot of uh, console games, uh, console ports default to that for some reason. But. Uh, yeah, so I'll be using a controller with it at the moment. And let's see. Story mode, the cult classic hunt down adventure. Recommended for first time players. Okay, so this is a this is a remaster of sorts of some old game then I presume. Though I can't say I know of the original. I I was it is. It says you did ask me if we have a this board, which we haven't. I do suspect, due to it's a such common theme, that it may have tricked you brain a little bit. Could be, but there's also give it a moment to load as the guy walks to his <laughs> to his Tesla truck or whatever. There's also this. We, I don't remember putting time into this, and since we used to do it where we gave two games about an hour each. And well, this went on for an hour. I get the feeling we might have tried it before, but oh, yeah. Wait, hmm? was I here during the first some uh, showcase Sunday? Maybe I don't actually remember. Oh. For I know we did not do this. Hmm. But, but go ahead. Wait. I think you may said you made you tried it, but you left it out. We did, you didn't think it would be good for Shosuke someday. So the first thing. round, you were more picky. Yeah, and well, we've covered like almost 400 games by now, probably. So there's probably some that are going to fall through the cracks, even though I'm keeping a list of the games, uh, which is well mostly complete. Uh, there's a lot of smaller games, I think, that have probably fallen through the cracks, and maybe this was one of them. But all the same, let's just give it its shot. Let's see. Yep. Really, Anaconda, John Sawyer, and Mo Man. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go with Anna. Let's see. Human, 33 years old, Earthborn. Oh, we can get on all of them. Cyborg, 148 years. Also, let me pause and reset the timer since we typically only start that once we get into act cinematics and gameplay. Iri Born in the Iridium Mines. Okay, and then we have Mo Man, a recon droid of seven years old who was built at the Unor Complex. Okay. Pistol and Tomahawk, scoped pistol or sp scoped magnum perhaps, and a boomerang. And then just a pistol and throwing knives. I'm guessing the Sir, yeah, those are on a timer with Sawyer's being the longest to charge, Anna's being the middle, and Moments being the quickest to charge. But let's still go with her. Your ego. Start the timer. Corporation. Let's see. The Hoodlum Dolls, the suburb <laughs> section? Your sector? <laughs> what? Uh, look at the note. Wolf Mother. Welcome back. 
It has been a long time since the company acquired your services. So, once again, you were personally selected for the job. We trust you are willing to accept. Got nothing better to do, Ms. Rose. I had a feeling you'd say that. A mother knows her children. The hunt down is initiated. Our first matter is an urgent one. During the latest riot, a gang known as the Hoodlum Dolls somehow outwitted law enforcement and managed to seize control of a mechanized riot suit. Looks like an inside job to me. Apparently, he goes by the name of Troy Lawman. Additionally, the area you'll be headed to has a few minor bounties that are open to your discretion. I'll transfer you those that are in your direct vicinity. Troy Lawman. Ironic name. See, guys, he's a hoodlum. And hello there, Marco. You doing well? And yeah, the hello, notes. Marco. The hoodlum dolls are unpredictable and strong in numbers. Get down there. Restore order. Hunt down this Troy Lawman and make Mother proud. They're about to meet the devil. Is that supposed to mean that <laughs> Wolf Mother is Anna's mother, or is that just a motherly persona that they're putting up? Motherly persona. Uh, let's see what this newsy. Uh, yeah. Nine millimeter hollow point. What about dog food plus rat point? What? It's a, what is it? Dog food plus? Oh no! Probably. I'm guessing she's a cat person. Let's see. We have Sweet Angel. Location: riots, crimes, assault, vandalism, drug trafficking. Angel knows what the pain is. No. Nope. <clears throat> Angel knows what pain is because he inflicts it. Armed with chains and knives, this devious lawbreaker won't be spreading any love. Approach with caution. Okay. Uh, find and eliminate 30 henchmen, retrieve all gangsters cases, and survive without dying. Okay, let's give this a shot. <clears throat> and yeah, just everything of this game just... It doesn't say 80s, it screams it into, a, <laughs> into an auto-tuned <laughs> microphone. Yeah, Our, it does to the point when it gives the most simple sensation of, have you seen this before? Yeah. And it's likely haven't. Who gets a big wind thing up there? Saving up for a uh, totally not some uh, Warhammer 40k influences in this with these freaking red map things. Warhammer and perhaps some 80s and. I think they went global with this. It's okay, just random drunk. Leave me alone, buddy. Jump down. Okay, you got it, buddy. Uh, not the best cover there. Uh, let's see, Marco. I'm good. Just took a shower and I'm eating barbecue now. Okay, leftovers from last night. Checkpoint. Tony surgery and repair service standing by. <laughs> okay. okay, they can hide as well. Okay, oops. Okay, does this mean that we... Yeah, we only have 10 bullets left, so might as well swap that out then. Yeah, and you have... Uh, mm -hmm. Shoot! Wacko! I think I heard someone say wag. <laughs> I think it, it was Wackham. Okay, this basic tutorial. Okay, took a hit on that. I guess he has a reputation. Yeah. Go, let me grab that. Okay. I, I like that the, the tutorials are worked. Oh, hello. I'll grab that. Collected. The tutorials are worked into things. They are, aren't. Checkpoint. You don't need to be told. You don't need to stop and read like half a page of an essay or something. 
And okay, we, we drop our old gun if it still has ammo in it. Nice. And okay, daisies. Music bar food. Okay. Yep. Something that you were expecting something else to have. Weren't you? Oh, oh hello. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'll take this. <laughs> Kill streak. Yo, quick ball. I mean, I mean, this is probably the first eight star dystopian game. But I see the one of those actually use a bloody axe. Uh, let's see. Okay, no rounds left. <laughs> I'll take the shotgun. Okay. Actually, how do you use the axe? Stash collected. Uh, oh, oh, we have a dash. It drops us down if we're on the in the air. Okay. Um, okay. It with B, we can swap our weapons. Uh, hmm. Oh. Okay. Why? Okay. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, it refills to show how it is, but recharging. Okay. Nice. There is our target. With sufficient frost, pigs fly just fine. You. Ow. I recognize that noise. Would have chased the dogs. Yeah, you. Oh, damn it. I have your mission link right here. Don't take my train. Okay, let's let's try and keep distance with this guy. Don't take my train. Really? Did you speak in? Yep. Does it matter where? Would have chased the dolls. Yep. Distance. Yep. Oh, you're. You idiots are crawling down from. Like crawling up from this right sewer. Yep. Remember, you do have an axe. Almost done. Wait, did that actual heal you? No, it did. No, it is medicine oh, bottles to pick up. Collected. Let's see. Okay, got all of those. No deaths. But we missed one stash. Okay. I I'm getting... Okay, I... Yep. yep. Sid handsome, really? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, also, I swapped out my usual water bottle for just a, a big-ass bottle of Lipton iced tea that was still partially filled because the water in the previous one I probably should have swapped out <laughs> yesterday already. So, yeah. Okay, uh, intel on this guy. I am seeing why people would have liked this game. <laughs> it is very 80s. Let's see. <laughs> He's in the back streets, his crimes are hit jobs, assault and battery, resisting arrest. Don't let the good looks of Sid Hansen fool you. This iron knuckle brawler is fierce and always ready to hand some uh, <coughs> to hand some whoop ass, really. <laughs> okay, 50 kills, three stashes and no deaths. Let's see, Marco. Uh, this looks like a cool 80s style game. The access to recharge, yeah, the bat is shit for that boss. Oh, you know this game? Or is it just an observation of, well, a melee weapon when facing a melee boss? Okay, and you, they like it so far. I'm, I'm going to like it as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I suspect you... you... 
but we saw that you have, may have play tested it, and maybe you decide against it at some point. Could be. Very likely, at least. Yeah, I'll take an Uzi over. Okay, so if we're too close to shoot, we kick. I'll take that. Okay. Who wants some? Okay. Was that a slide that I accidentally did? Okay. I think so. Checkpoint. Hey, look out! Bounty hunters! Bounty hunters! They're here! Take them out! Stop them, you morons! Can we... Oh, we, we got healed from that, yeah? Oh, ow. Oh, that deals... Two bits of damage. Okay, uh, let's see, Marco. I played it at a friend's house. Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> there is room for co op. Oh, I've accidentally swapped off the Uzi, it seems. You tried to make it Who are you with the case? Or... Okay, you... Up. And that's dead. Uh, yes, you can slide my bass and go... Okay. Yeah. And I'm guessing if we catch up with that guy and kill him, we'll get one of the stashes that way. No voice acting I recognize here. Yep, that's one of the stats. Okay, just recognize the voice in general, or do you recognize the voice acting? Again, I don't. There are many, extremely many voice actors I don't know by name. But I recognize them in the other I feel like we have many of you that have done many games and cartoons and yeah. anime. Oh, we automatically take cover if we start firing. Or actually stop firing. Can't aim high and low enough for that one there. I feel like what we need to do is we chase in here. I might have him maybe in his his uh, cartoons. And some eighties anime. Playing piece. Yep, anything hidden here? Nope. Uh, let's see. The axe can be switched with grenades sometimes. Okay. Take that. And let's take the baseball bat. Who's the queen of all the evil bitches? Okay, checkpoint. Even her checkpoint. Sounds familiar. I must oh. break you. <laughs> really? Dash, Rocky reference. And I should probably. I just probably pause and turn on the not disturb mode. A little bit. <clears throat> uh, I don't we can do that uh, during the next game. I uh, can just do it right now, it's easily enough. Second day in a row that I forget it. There. Okay. Hello, Foofy. You doing well? Um, Marco, I love the voice acting. Yeah, it is. It is. It is extremely 80s cheesy. Oh yeah. Hello, Foofy. Come out. You look good in red. There we go. Oop. Okay, it just gives us only four extra ammo with that, or oh no, we we preserved the ammo that we had and got the uh, the full clip added in. Uh, how are we supposed to get up there? Playtime's over. 
Okay, we just go around up there. Uh, oh, re really? We keep... Oh, are you huh? Multi kill. Strat disaster, really? That's a that's a joke on Stradivara, which is a a brand of violin. I'm pretty sure. Stash collected. I did not know that. And the re the reason they're known is if, oh. I'm guessing we interrupted something. Uh, the reason they're known is because they're really freaking expensive. And they're, well, they're not being made anymore, I'm pretty sure as well. Oh. And, oh, we're playing Houndtown, uh, Foofy. Yep. Oh. Bounty found. Uh, Sid Handsome. Finally, uh, Sam! My knuckles were starting to itch! <laughs> Okay, I should have seen that one coming. Uh, basically, what we're doing with this uh, stream is that we, uh, we we try out games to see if they'd be any fun for streaming later, or streaming in full later. So we give we give about four games, or we give some games about half an hour each. Yeah. This one is on my feet. Yep. Yeah. Just shut up and take an axe to the face. Just all the references. Oop. Oh, oh, come on. Really? Oh, he's actually throwing those. Those will be quite in the forget times. Pretty sure they will not bounce. And it's not that much. <laughs> How many of those things have you? You throw them and you still have extra. Now you still have two in your hand. Let's stick with this shotgun for now. He got us on the bounce after we couldn't move anymore. Okay, at least we got two of those. Uh, let's see. Uh, Foofy, uh, yeah, I just woke up, did some stuff. I'll end up uh, being able to stay a while uh, until I've got to go do stuff. Uh, hi, Mark, what game is this? If this looks fun. You should play a game called Salt and Sanctuary. It's literally 2D Dark Souls. I think I have heard of that one. I, I think we skipped well. it originally, with when we went through uh, alphabetically, which is why we're going through it less games now. Ain't that the world of Cthulhu games? Mm, not sure. Rainbow Pixel, pixelated version. And I just noticed uh, up on the sign next to you, collected. Done. Uh, under some he wrote, or...? What he wrote on the sign. Yeah, I saw that earlier. I was the comment on it. <laughs> Reassure. Uh, but yeah, this game is called Hunt Down, and let's see, how much time do we have left? Wait, five more minutes, about? Okay, so we can give it a little bit for... Oh. Bad Boy Bob. Okay. Uh, the ring, makes sense. Murder, Assault and Bandery. Bob is earning reputation amongst the hoodlum dolls from pit fighting. Boomer says that Bob has never lost a fair fight, because no fight with Bob is fair. Okay. Wait, assault and battery? What does that mean? Uh, I think battery is with a weapon, like a baseball bat or such. Oh. Engage. Attaboy! 
Oh, that's why she wanted the dog food uh, rat poison. Do Wait, what? Where she just doesn't like dogs. Good. Oh, good. Yeah, you've got model tops. Okay. Any checkpoints? Checkpoint. Already here. Had a feeling you'd be screwing up somewhere around these blocks. Really? They were complaining at us earlier as well. That's what. I think we have some veteran voice acting here, but but also possible that there's there's some people that I hate the big ones. Damn good at imitating. Vengeance is mine. <laughs> Really, a, a Vespa, and they're immune to damage whilst driving it because those stupid things are supposedly completely indestructible. But it, those are all called Vespa. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've been trying to figure out a, one of the Transformers I own as a kid, uh, what, which one might be. I thought it was Tau, but it might not be. Oh, really? Fun. There's a Vespa Transformer? Yeah, at least more like a heavy duty Vespa, like the ones you may see a police have. Heavy This is a, 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 a tactical Vespa. <laughs> oh, no, oh, they can. They can friendly fire. Peace out. Yep. Taking care of that one for me. Okay, boy. I don't like these streets one bit. Why is some shit going on? Good. Good. Uh-oh. There we go. I don't get that. I got one. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Marco, I love this level. And sorry I'm not talking much, I'm still eating barbecue. <laughs> No problem. Uh, whenever we have a barbecue, we also end up just with extra always. Okay, that's more like it. Cross bikes, cross country bikes. Alert! We've also got enemies with armor now. Let's rock and roll! boy. I hope I get to figure out this transform I have. I do... I have two. What I do know who it was. And Megatron. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, we, we, I just got kicked by the guy with the case, or rather slapped with it, which makes sense. Ow! Oh yeah, the reason I'm bringing up just for us to do that fight, but I mean, this. Me and him have been watching both the shows, and I also be talking about it with our friend. Yeah, we've been watching Transformers Animated on the off days. That's, that's four words. No guts, no glory, really. No guts, no glory. Oh, hello. I haven't heard that somewhere before. It's a common saying. Uh, yeah, dirt bike. That's also a word for it. Uh, Marco Yamatov and Kakuo enemies are my favorites since Friendly Fire. And how new are you, Fufi? Um, I think they showed up first yesterday, yesterday. or was it Thursday? Yep, th Found yesterday. yesterday. Found. You're in hoodlum turf, mate. Means you're all mine. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I missed that there was a solid ball yeah. there. Uh, okay, <laughs> I guess we'll end on that with the game just glitching out and kicking us out of the physical world.
Oh, we, we can swap bounty hunters? Okay, nice. Uh, <laughs> but uh, was that a Hulk Hogan style <laughs> voice that they were doing? I think uh, so, for they were popular at that time before they, well, ruined the career, really, what they are. Uh, yeah, it wasn't Ultimate Warrior, but that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, oh, I'm oh, saying okay. that, one, <laughs> that one could be a fun. Uh, oh, wait, wait, I thought I'd set this game to Windows mode. Uh, uh, go on. Uh, I say, he has said a few things during the pandemic that people really did not like. <clears throat> ah, you're right. Um, a lot of those old wrestlers aren't even alive anymore because of, well, the lifestyle and drugs and such. Okay, and yeah. Yeah, the second game we have today is Hydraneer, which is a game I found through the Steam queue, I believe. And well, I found it interesting enough to play it for a little bit. And actually, let's get do the tutorial and start the timer. This is a this is one of those uh, anime uh, automation uh, factory is games. Uh, let's see. I don't think there was a tutorial when I originally played this. Uh, pick up the lantern by pressing E. Uh, what lantern? <laughs> what lantern? Uh, there's an indicator under the item to show where it will land when dropped. The color of this can be changed in the gameplay. Uh, seriously, what lantern? There's no lantern here. There's several lanterns. Yeah, but there's hanging ones, not placeable ones. Uh, okay, tutorial glitched. <laughs> we have a, oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. The dots will show where it will be put down if we hit E again. A lot of items have different uses while holding the lantern. Yeah, turn off and on. Yep. <laughs> Let there be lights. Okay, that definitely weren't achievements last time I played this. Uh, head to the river and drop the pan into the stream to fill it with water. Okay. There. There. Use the shovel to put dirt into the bucket and click to pour the bucket into the pan. Okay. So we just dig up a bit. You can only have one of these. There. We should be able to put in... Okay, no more than that at the moment. Okay. Uh, or the wait, oh, oh, dirt into the butt. <laughs> I got it the wrong way around. Can we? You, you keep calling a pan for some reason. Yeah, it says you, it literally says they'll use the brush to scrub the pan, but it has dirt and water. Ah, okay, okay. Then there we go. Take the resource in the pan to the jeweler. And place it on the table and press sell when the resources are sold the pan will not be sold so yeah we can just carry it around in here basically the goal of this game is to well dig up resources like gems and gold sell them and then the well it is, the more oh. pay for it. <laughs> and yeah just uh, <clears throat> uh, use the gold that you get from that or the, the coin you get from that to well be able to get more resources done, have it be automated, and, well, just <laughs> exponentially progress from there. Okay, we have 230, uh, 230 shiny, of coin here. So there. Right First Hydra coin. Take your coins to the store and purchase a crucible, furnace, and casting molds. Place these items onto the platform, put your coins in the bucket, then hit purchase uh, actually, hold on. Oh, yeah, it actually physically put the coins here. You have to carry these around. You don't. You don't put them in your pocket. So let's just put them in there. Uh, let's see. Crucible. Furnace. One of these. Put that there. Uh, another anvil. We need a casting mold there. And furnace. There we go. That is a total of 146. So we grab these. 
drop them in there. And there we go. Now these are ours. Uh, put this back here for the moment. Uh, let's see. Chat, uh, how new are you? I just watched yesterday. How do you find Captain Hillian and the Bearded Dragon, <laughs> Bearded Dragoon, Drakir? Uh, Fufi, you can suggest games in the suggestion box. There's also, We also have a Discord uh, where you can also put down suggestions because I often fail to check the one with Leighton beneath the stream. Uh, let there be light, such a cliche achievement, yeah. Okay. Uh, use the cart to bring the items to the dig site. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, where is... Uh, where did... Oh, right, this is putting it down modes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, come on, let me put it down then. There we sort of go. <laughs> okay. Put you here as well somewhere. And just... Dunk... Okay, dunk you through that. Might as well put you on here as well. Okay. And, yeah. One of the things with this it. game is that it's a bit difficult to move stuff around. But that is supposed to be part of the charm. Okay. Click while holding the furnace to place it. Click again when the furnace is highlighted. Okay. Uh, let's put you... Oop. Uh, okay, let's put you there. <laughs> You're just floating in the air, but still. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Smelled some of the same type of ore in the crucible. So for that, we need to grab you. Dunk it in there. Dig up a bit of dirt. Put that in there. Probably should take our coin out of it. Just leave it there for a bit. And brushy brushy. Okay, we've got some gold ore. Let's drop you... A... First, let's take you off of that and put you on there. Uh, where the... There the gold go. I better have that. Just gonna grab something. I probably should put the furnace down lower since... It's going to be a pain to just climb up it the whole time. Let's grab this one as well. Drop it in there. And now both will get smelted. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, Marco, could you try something? Could you try to do exclamation point discord to see if the command now works? So, yeah, that's, that's the main reason why I swapped over to the stream elements bot. To, well hopefully allow the use of the link because for some reason it would only put it in if i did the commands uh he did something it did that work yeah he just copy pasted it okay it, the command does work now it seems that is good to know nice. uh, let's smelt some of the same types of ore in the crucible once the crucible has melted the resources click on the mold to pour out the bar while holding the full crucible so yeah, we're just picking up this <laughs> hot thing. And yeah, we poured it out into a bar. Actually, let's drop you for the moment. Pick you up again and just put you in the ground. That'll make it a lot easier to pick you up. Uh, it's going to be a little bit awkward like that, but this is still a... I don't, I don't remember if this game is still in early access or if it is fully version 1.0 out, you know, 1, 1 out now. Uh, but still, it's... Uh, as it is obvious, it's not a triple-A game. Okay. We've got mm. a gold bar. We've got a gem. So, let's just... Let's just drop that in there. And go sell the both of these. Okay. I know I've seen it for a few years, thanks to YouTubers. I don't care where it come from. If it's got value, I'll take it. There we go. Or, I don't know, they, they didn't always have humans. Yeah, those are definitely new. Okay, grinding wheel. And I forgot to grab the money. Blacksmith hammer. And an anvil. Okay. 
put that on there. Let's go grab the money. It might be shiny, but you need a key. Okay, 275. So this is a little bit short on that. So we just go grab our other coins. And okay, it's fully out. Okay. Doesn't mean that it won't get updates anymore. Since well that is typically still <laughs> that typically still happens afterwards as well stuff gets added and tested and everything. Yeah, bug fixes, DLCs. Okay. Drop that in there as well. Okay. We have only 69 coins left. <laughs> of course. Um, okay, use the grindstone to cut uh, a gemstone. It's going to carry these over for the moment. Uh, I'll just put you there for the moment. <laughs> and yeah, the cursed number. I'll put you in here as well. And then just carry you over. But yeah, I, I this would probably be more a game to play similar to Minecraft, just with a, some friends who are into it as well, and just having some fun with it and everything. But okay, it's not going to stay in there. Uh, not for our main stream streaming, uh, main quest streaming, I'd say. Uh, let me take the money out for a moment. Wash some more dirt. And yeah, it, it did say to use the buckets. Uh, actually, hold on. If we do one, two. Okay, yeah. We can just put it in directly, but this way we can put in more at once. Oop. Okay, there. And. Completely miss. <laughs> okay. And wash. And there's a gemstone. Okay. And we're going to cut this. There we go. Dirty rock go now sparkle. <laughs> okay. Craft a ring on the anvil. Mouse click to change the selection. Okay. We'll need some gold for that. Which we have two of these. So in they go. I should probably change the color of the little shadow so it's easier to spot. Okay, hot, hot, hot. Yeah, I should probably explain that to people. 69 has become a little bit of a cursed number for me for... I see it almost everywhere. Yeah. So yeah, I turn it into a bit of a yoke and it's a cursed number. Uh, let's go grab the hammer. Uh, let's see. Okay, heat a bar by placing it into the furnace. Then when uh, once hot, place on the first slot and a gem on the second. Then hit it with the hammer. Okay. So we need to take you off for a second. Heat you up. Okay. Bit hard to see with the particles. Is that enough? Uh, huh? Huh? Okay, there we go. We click on it to change it. There's a ring. Okay. Uh -huh. And the bar cooled down, so put it in again. Now, did I start the timer or did I forget it? I did start the timer. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is it cooling down that fast? Or am I doing something wrong? There's the gem. There's the gold. There we go, okay. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Marco, this wouldn't be a game for streaming since there's no story or anything to keep you hooked on playing. Yeah, it looks boring it. Uh, like I said, it's a bit like uh, Minecraft and um, just sell the ring. So maybe for just relaxed streaming sometime or multiplayer. 
Uncrafted products at shifty prices. Yep, 358. So that's a lot more than they would have been solo. Yeah, and I also think that most people enjoy seeing YouTubers play it when they are further in, when they can go a bit more insane with their inventions. Okay, and we restock the coin stacks by just dropping on top of each other. Okay, final area unlocked. Purchase the dig sites. Yeah, you need to purchase dig sites where you can get to work. And yeah, as you can see, here's where the machinery comes into place. So drop that in there. Okay. Pick up and place the intake pipe in the river to pump water into the dig sites. Okay. Uh, how do I turn this? Huh? With R, okay. Place the conveyor on top of the missing section. Uh, there. Okay. Click the red switch to start the drill. Okay, red switch, red switch. There's a lever here. Okay. And yeah, here you see how things can get automated. And that's the tutorial complete. The drill is now automatically digging with a conveyor belt moving things up and over to a grinder okay hmm. yeah. could use a bit more instructions on what things will do because that's one of the annoyances that I had originally with this game to uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, that I didn't know what each uh, what what machine would do and such. And okay, it's immediately spitting it out as something. We've got iron ore, gold ore. Okay, this is a nice little setup. But yeah, you can see how it would progress from here, just making bigger, and purchasing new sites and making bigger machines, and eventually you would run out of dirt in a dig site. Eventually, I say, as you can see how big these are. And there are a lot bigger ones in the full game. <clears throat> but, yeah. And you, can you can also dig quite deep. And, yeah. Not for mainstreaming, but maybe relax streaming sometime or just with others. For now, uh, let me stop and reset the timer. And we move on to the next game, which I'll just say we'll... Uh, I'm just going to showcase this one and then move on to the next because I have, like, no interest in this one. Okay, give it a sec to catch up. This is ICBM, which, well, is based... It's, just, it's an RTS, you could call it, where, well, you play as one of these superpowers with nuclear arms and such in the world. And the, well, the goal is to be the last one standing, of course. Oh. And yeah, you can make air bases, carriers, such, da, da, da. I just, yeah, th this is more just a, this is, game is more meant to be played against uh, other people. And yeah, I, I just don't find it interesting. I, I really only purchased it because Beanie wanted to do a multiplayer stream of this game. And, uh, yeah, I did not like it. I so. can see. And I kind of want to... How did this end up on the list? Uh, because I would skip less games. Yeah, but if you really dislike it... Yeah, I still to at least carve it off the list. So, uh, yeah, it's not that I have anything... It's not that I dislike RTS games in general, it's just... This game requires so much micro managing because you're facing so many different opponents and so much different things going on at once that I just go, no, I just get overwhelmed and just do not enjoy it all. So, yeah. Showcased and moving on. Yeah, and this one is probably the, the kind of year, maybe five, ten minutes. Uh, let's see. Foofy map game. Uh, Marco, I already disliked this game. Why do I need to do it again? <laughs> uh, let's see. 
and Foofy making a girl's front line reference. <laughs> no tea dolls, zero out of ten. Okay, next game. Wait, wait, Immortal what? Redneck. Wait, hold on. What happened? What? Did we just break the record of a showcase game we just showed a few seconds? <laughs> Basically. Like I said, I, I have zero interest in that game. And, yeah, trying to showcase it would just be me trying to micromanage everything or actually just letting it run on its own. Which would... Since it's a map game as well, there's not actually much gameplay to look at at all. So, yeah, just skipping it entirely like that. Yeah. But I recognize this game. No. I just don't remember who I watched play this. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. Our fourth game for today is Immortal Redneck. And it actually... Oh, hello. Uh... Okay, this game has Twitch integration? Okay, I would activate that if it weren't for the fact that we'd likely be skipping on from this early on. And there was an intro bit to this, but apparently it doesn't like to replay that. Uh, not adding that in on stream. Is there any way to see that re animation again? Or cinematic again? Um, hmm. Oh well. Uh, let's see, Foofy. Oh, I've seen this one. That's what I am. Got me or mortal redneck. Okay. Um, will it replay the intro? Yep. Okay, it will not. Yep. Okay, why do we have a pistol made with wood? Okay. Well, I, I skipped the intro bit to, <laughs> to see it again, but I'm guessing it just won't show it again. Is there really nothing here to have it play again somehow? That would be a point against the game, I would say. Uh, hmm. Performance stats. Uh, let's put that on, I guess, just, just to see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to wait to have it run again. Yeah, I don't okay. get why many games don't allow that. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Are we a, are we a mummified redneck? Okay. Lord of Mayhem. <laughs> Active skill increase fire rate temporarily. Increase ammo collected. Okay. Uh, all right then. Can we? Yes, we can. Though we shouldn't waste ammo on pots since we have a limited amount of. The heck are you? Okay. <laughs> one, of those, one of those uh, Dark Souls bosses. Uh, it's basic controls. Run and jump. Okay. Uh, we can't mess with the skeletons. Okay, we can just grab up. Uh, currency. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's see. Marco, the second time I don't know a game that was shown on a showcase Sunday looks like my neighbor. <laughs> okay. I'm suddenly uh, concerned. Okay, we also have a shotgun. And dynamite. Okay, ammo box. And our first enemy. Blue Anubites. Okay. Turns to sand after. Okay. Uh, charge shots? Or is this uh, supposed to be a shield? Okay. I, I would not be surprised if I saw, saw Dragas or Blitz play this. Okay, mouse wheel to swap between. Okay, little snacks. Alright. I'm, I'm liking the visual style of this game so far. Oop. And that's automatic movements. Okay. Redneck's active ability allows you to shoot faster. 
Oh, wait, is that what this is? I, yeah, I think that I that's our activating our special, I believe, or active ability, it seems. I don't think we can get out of any of these, or are these just here for decoration? It looks like just decoration. Uh, yeah, I really would have liked a bit more context from the intro, but yeah, really annoying that they are not allowing that to be replayed. I am Maybe sure I that even much the files. Cool it is one. Yeah, not much, but it would still be nice to have some. Yeah, it'd be nice, yes. I don't recall the funny amusing when the YouTuber play this. But there's not much story, if I remember. I, I, there. True, but so, yeah, still am, just a little I'm bit sure. of context just for the humor would be nice. Yeah. I, I am unsure if this should be on the uh, streaming list. Oh, that's a nest. Swords. A, a lot of things I don't remember here. I would not be surprised if I saw the... Yeah, actually, yeah, when I saw the this first time, they did not have Twitch integration. Okay, and we have roguelikes, effects. Okay, up the damage. And then we can expand out for defense. Okay. Increased base health. Okay, this is similar to... <laughs> so basically, this game is like a rogue legacy if it were a first-person shooter. Yeah, don't we even have this last time? I'm not this surprised time. if this is an updated version of the one I saw, or the one I saw was an early access version. Okay. And I forgot to start the timer, it seems. Hmm. Okay, so we have three pyramids that we could go into to try and do stuff here. Um, okay, the gods claim your gold. Please them to enter the pyramid. Fucking tax Just like the Fed fucking government. <laughs> Not bad okay. for a mummy trailer park. Mummy Trailer Park, really? Uh, let's see. Marco, ah, uh, shotguns. Basic American weapon. Goofy, I'm American and pistols are the most common here. Marco, guess they aren't. Uh, shotguns are fun, uh, though. Uh, they are. I own a boomsticks, aka double barrel shotgun. Okay, <laughs> both of them just living somewhere where you actually can get guns. Uh, oh, hello, Bruno. Well, you usually will need a uh, license. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, and they can be... Sometimes it's harder to do, and it also depends on for what reason. Uh, you can... I'm pretty sure you can still get firearms over here where I live. Because I'm pretty sure that one of the stores nearby... Uh, I'm pretty sure one of the stores nearby used to be... Uh, a web, a firearm shop, but more for hunting or in sports and not probably not hunting, but uh, sports shooting more. Yeah, the, those we have here, are, and uh, there are also sports pistols and revolvers that are allowed. But even those are strict on how you are allowed to use them. Frogs? Yes, frogs. What frogs? Holy frogs! Okay, nice that they have that little bar at the top to show how many targets there are left in a room. My good sir, Red Nake. N Nake? What? Red Nake, not all Europeans eat frog legs. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, be safe today, Marco, and uh, good luck. See you next time. I see something that I can't read. Just if he's see something about me, if you do go and grandpa. Oh, oh wait, the... I'm dumb. Oh. He see, he got a shotgun from his grandpa. 
Okay, that. Yeah, we really should see just how we. If there's a way to just make it so that the screen share for you uh, doesn't screw up like that. Oh, it was flawless when I was alone at home. I think it's more of a case of I'm sure since the others are home. And if they're not watching Netflix and such. Taking up brand it, width. Brand width. Yeah. Brand width. Like, the... Yeah. So I can see these in the gameplay, but it is enough to make the chat box a bit blurry to read. Hence why I thought Marco was leaving. But he was not. Okay. So basically, it's, this game is sort of like uh, Gunfire Reborn, which we played a little bit back. Like last week or the week before, maybe? Oh, yeah. Last week or the week before. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, Foofy, I own a break action, a bunch more. Foofy's got a whole armory. Uh, I need more. Well, I got the shotgun from Grandpa, okay. Didn't did they get a new law in USA about the firearms? Uh, attempt at least. Uh, to Marco, what? I think he was confused. I think it was a. true about no one's allowed to have uh, assault rifles. Well, I believe maybe more. Hmm. Uh, there was. I know there was an attempt to at least ban extended magazines and such. Don't know how that went. I mean, about a new one that just went into effect. Uh, let's see, Marco, we this need to week. help the Dragoon be able to read the chat box. <laughs> or we should just get him to put Twitch, uh, the Twitch chat on his phone so we can read the, the chat via that. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I usually do tell you if there's something in chat for you to read. Okay, this just connects back here. Oh wait, this is the main hall that we entered. Starting point. Um, that just gets back there. Is there is there's a tab for a color map? Okay. Uh, Goofy hit it a few times to do a hard reset. <laughs> I don't think that helps because he... I'm screen sharing OBS to him, so he's seeing all of this statistic stuff around it as well. Oh, mission, don't get hurt. Okay. More platforming bits. Give me that. Uh, hello. Fugitive allows you to run backwards. <laughs> Okay, and different weapon than the shotgun, okay. Just hard swap out. Ammo, okay. Um, do we need to keep going up? Or. Okay, that's disabled now. Did I succeed at the mission? <laughs> or with the. With each other. Throw oh, it. With the treasure chest closed off. Uh, if I had a okay, little mummy. Uh, hello. Oh, you spawned the little guys. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Poofy saying something there. Uh, let's see. And we got to go. Got some stuff now. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, be safe, Poofy, and see you hopefully late tonight. Okay, jumping gives you temporary speed boosts. Okay. Uh, yeah, this game looks like it could be fun, but probably not for our mainstreams yeah, and such. It's there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this game could be interesting. It, it, it is based... Yeah, it is very much similar to Gunfire Reborn, though, with less randomized weapons, it looks like. So, yeah. Could be fun. Uh, not for our type of streaming, though.
Uh, let's see. Ta -ta. Foofy, our president doesn't know anything about firearms. They try to ban high capacity magazines, which are literally just standard capacity. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were more going for the drum things that have like 100 rounds and such, because uh, America has a problem with mass shootings. So putting ma those things on the ban list would hopefully lower <laughs> casualty rates with that. Yeah, I also saw that this week a 15-year-old was caught having a machine gun. Mm. Okay. A 15-year-old. I think you mean 15, not 15. Yeah, uh, one, five, 15. Mm. A teenager. Uh, let's see, anyway, I got to do some stuff now, see ya. Okay, Stimpy Joe, don't do anything about guns. See ya, Foofy. Okay. Uh, yeah, moving on to the next game, we have one that uh, you're not having issues with the screen share because this one only works in full screen. Uh, I'm seeing something. Okay. I see. Uh, pulse. Oh, I'm gonna hate to say this. Pulsating crosshair. Uh, yeah, this game is called Indecision, and. Yeah, I don't actually know much about it. I think it was said to be uh, yeah, this... some sort of experience thing or something. Uh... Yeah, this is an odd thing. Yeah, pick your language. Okay, first. Okay, we have a character here. Yeah. Oh wait, this is not the one we made. Okay, uh... Home? Right? Uh... What the heck? Uh... Skinner? Uh... Okay, why are we a bird? What was... What was the... Yeah, I'm already not liking it. Okay, and yeah, when we ex press escape, we go here instead of a menu. If we go through to the door, we just get returned to the start. And we exit the game by throwing ourselves off a ledge. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, let me just look up what the the story description of this game was again, because I remember there being something about it. Uh, let's see. Just let it load in. Let's see. Indecision. Let's see. It's reviewed as very positive, and it's called a haiku platformer. Short and vague. Okay, so it, it is just supposed to be vague. Bullshitty. Okay. So is it, so far it's a bit vague in a bad manner for us. Like this is not a game for us to stream. And apparently it was an honorable mention in the category best student game of the Independent Games Festival 2019. I'm presuming because what if we went different if we did different things, we would end up in different uh, plat places, uh, but yeah, very easy, uh, not for us, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, next game then, and this one I think has a much better chance of uh, being picked. Oh, this game! <laughs> I think we've done a, a one or two from 505 games before, and well, as you can see, there's massive improvements compared to the rest on art style and presentation.
And this was a Kickstarter. Very anime. It's supposed to be. I, I skip the intros for the most part. I, ju I just see if the game's functioned with OBS before the stream. I actually know the names of these characters. <laughs> Marco, I'm as confused as Fakir. Immediately, yes. I, I, I have seen a playthrough, though, not to the end, though, to the YouTube that actually had a... Almost men mental meltdown at the final boss area. That he was only able to finish the game. Okay, what? Getting a bit of a mixed One Piece slash Dragon uh, Quest slash uh, uh, what? Chrono Trigger <laughs> feel. But it is more to anime, but also much to the Hinduism and other countries as well. I said you meant religions, since Hinduism is more religion than a yeah, country. Yeah, it, I, I feel like every time I try to see India. I feel I suspect someone's gonna misunderstand me. Think I mean, in oh wait, no, India is just fine. But yeah, India. You mean but they don't take place in other words? places. But what? I, I'm presuming you mean that in when you say Indian, that you would think it would cause uh, confusion between well, Native American Indians and well, Indian as in resident of India. Yeah, for it has happened. Like, uh, uh, okay, just restarts that. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, it's okay. We're going through this again because it's not responding to the. Is why are you not responding? I could skip you before. Oh, because I need to hold it. <laughs> okay, that explains. Well, yeah, yeah it... this is indivisible. Now let's move yeah. on before it restarts again. It is a unique game, since it's not many anime that takes majority inspiration from uh, this region. Uh... Uh, hello. Un uh... I think there's supposed right. to be more on screen. I think... Uh, uh... Uh... Okay, glitch. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is cool. I think let's this restart is the first quickly. Time we actually have a glitch. Or a visual glitch like that. Uh, let's see. Marco, if you plan on playing this, put it as a main quest since it takes over 28 hours to beat casually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a long game. You can miss a lot. Uh, all right. And if you want to do it properly, it's as many side characters to help you as possible, it's gonna take longer. Okay, why... Why is this? Uh... Uh... Oh... Wait, are there... Okay, looks with WASD we control who acts. Uh, let's just hope this fixes itself. Yeah, uh, it, it is. I would be interested to see this play, but a lot of it is, is voice acted. It has good story, but this could sadly be a forced deal breaker. Not because it was bad, but more because of its bugs. Uh, it did work before, whilst I was testing the, uh, the game to see if it would play nice with OBS. Uh, so yeah, there's just something that's just not working. 
And, okay, we are just doing absolutely crap damage to this thing. And... With the full ED meter and an action available, hold E and press A. Okay. This would be a lot more interesting to see if we could actually see the sprites. Uh, is there supposed to be voice acting here? Because... Okay. Like, really, is this supposed to be voice acting here, or is that bugged as well? Hard to remember. Definitely need to fix this 16 years later. And I forgot to start the timer. Okay, the glitch persists. Why does why do they show up when I do this? But it's actually controller, does that work? Video settings, windowed resolution, windowed. Uh, maybe we free mess with this for a second. Apply settings, apply settings. Previous menu, turn. It's some sort of lighting bug because the lighting there is also. Hmm. Yes, quit it again. Let's see if I can. Uh, First, pause the timer. Let me wait, wait. recheck the files for a bit. Oh, there was supposed to be voice acting there. Okay, there would be supposed. There is supposed to be voice acting there. Uh, yeah, let me just verify the file integrity, and then we'll try that again. Yeah, uh, like verify integrity. I would probably say it could be worth streaming, but this. It's an instant concern. Yeah, if it's just going to bug out that hard. Yeah, or the concern if you would enjoy the gameplay style from the combat. Okay, all files verified. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know what could be causing this. Like, the only thing that we're doing is that the game is running in windowed mode and that we're skipping these introduction uh, bits. Uh, but that should not be a cause for any glitches. Let's see, does it do it again? I think it's doing it again. But... Uh, yet. Yeah, it's... Yeah, sorry folks, we can't... We can't fairly showcase this game, it's gonna do this. I'll try to get it fixed somehow, and... Wait, does this game have... It's set in my multiplayer uh, folder. Does it actually have multiplayer? I don't hmm. think so. Let's see, store page... Uh, single player sp shared split screen. Okay, so that's why I put it in there. I can just move it out of that folder then. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to get this fixed for next week then, but for now, we'll be skipping it then. Yeah, hopefully we get it working next week for it has good characters, a good story, and damn good art style. And it's, again, very unique. Yeah. And what just, the heck happened it's there? weird. It worked whilst I tested it, so I... Wait, could it be... Hold on a second, give me a moment. Could it be that it's... No, wait, it worked before. Hmm. Let me 
Uh, let me turn it off as a res as a source for a moment. I need to dig it through the showcase ones. Uh, in the visible, turn that off. Is OBS somehow causing the glitch? I highly doubt that. Uh, it it worked before, so something is causing a glitch somehow. So press any button. Well, okay. the thing is, many people recorded Skip. this on YouTube for YouTube. No, the bug is still there. So something else is. I'll I'll, I'll uninstall it, reinstall it, and hopefully that will fix it. But for now, we're moving on. So we're going to leave that one as undecided at the moment. But from what you and all Marco are saying, it is likely to be a yes. Oh yeah, for now, yeah. next game on the list is Instant Dungeon. It's, well, let's see, uh, choose a flavor, action recipe, explore the dungeon and collect treasure to earn a high score, adventure mix, enlist in the Royal Guard and complete quests. This one is locked. Rescue Relish. Reach level 20 in action recipe. Okay. Is and this have noodle have yolks? Practice your... <laughs> practice formula. Sharpen your skills by practicing in the Royal Hedge head Maze. A weak sauce, really. Use extra lives to collect treasure and earn a high score. Uh, this looks mostly like a story mode, so let's try this. Uh, welcome to the Royal Guard. Perform quests for His Majesty and you will be rewarded with quest points. Earn enough quest points and your name will be entered onto the list of this knight's most of the king's most dutiful servants. Uh, let's see. Goblin goulash. Goblins attack the castle. Time to get some... Uh, for some get back. Time for some get back? What? I think that's... I don't think English is Wait. the native tongue. Oh, also, okay. I'm pretty sure we've shown this one before. Uh, we haven't. We haven't. I can show you that. I think this one is going to fruit out. Could be, yeah. Uh... Okay, uh... okay, we can use a shield to protect ourselves. Okay, full moon fever, collect werewolf hides with a queen's new blanket. Okay. Oh dear. And actually, yeah, earlier when we had a text come up, I actually misread His Majesty to Miss Majesty. Which would be curious name to be called Majesty. Uh, Majesty. I haven't said that word in years. I know I've tried this before. O okay, we can protect ourselves from one hit with that. King needs more sapphires to adorn his scepter. Okay, uh, yeah, what basically what the store page said about this that it is basically a, a time waster for when you're waiting on well a train or something. Uh, to just basically have something to do to not get bored out of your mind. Uh, though I'm pretty sure this game predates the Steam Deck. So, I'm guessing it's... I, I'm guessing it got moved from mobile to Steam somehow. Uh, well, they're all laptops. That's uh, true as well. I, I haven't used one in so long. <laughs> I never uh, really liked laptops. Uh, but, yeah. little Nice little time waster. Streaming, uh, streamable... Mm, no. no. <laughs> so let's just finish this up. And yeah, call it on this one as well. And yeah, we have nine quest points. Okay. Yeah. Little time waster showcased and done with it. And. Yeah, it doesn't actually really have an exit button either. You just need to close the program. Okay. So that leaves the final game <laughs> that I have prepared. And this is why I just pre why I prepare eight games for Showcase Sunday, just in case a lot goes wrong. But yeah, the final game I have prepared 
And we onto the beach. The timer. Yeah, no, not into the breach, <laughs> not the beach. <laughs> okay. Humanity <laughs> destroyed. Vex threat unstoppable. Mission failed. Open a breach. It's time to go back and try again. Okay, this game was made by the same people who made FTL. So that gives you a good idea of what this game is going to be like. It's going to be, uh, yeah, a roguelite. Where, yeah, we'll have to try and get to the end and probably fail a lot of times. Yeah, and I have a confession. Mm -hmm. I've seen this. Yeah, Beanie has played this for a decent bit as well. Let's see. Click to change starting Mac. Oop. Okay, we have three different ones from the start. For some reason, this game is just shown in a very small window in the windowed mode, though I can stretch it out like this. So let me just do that for a bit. Hopefully we won't end up with too many borders uh, around the game. Not that it shows now anyways. Uh, let's see. Victory medals. Medals awarded based on how many corporate islands are secured before completing the final island. Okay. We have let's see, Rift Walkers. Watery Grave. Drown three enemies in water in a single battle. Siemens earn you coins to unlock new mech squads. Okay. Uh, we have. Oh, wait. Is... Hmm? Change the starting mech. Okay. So. These are the ones that we have. We can put our Time Traveler into one of them. We have the Combat Mech, Cannon Mech, and Artillery Mech. And that is their health. That is their movement. Okay. But we can rename them. We can change their color. Okay, let's just start. Uh, advanced content, advanced enemies, enable advanced VEC enemy types. Recommended for anyone who has a good grasp of the core game. Enable advanced missions. Advanced. Okay. Nice to let you start off with. Uh, just <laughs> to start off with those, if uh, at your choosing. Okay. We'll hold this timeline no matter what. Uh, let's see. Archive Inc. This museum island uh, recreates old Earth, old Earth, as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. CEO Dewey Alms. Environment is temperate. And the threat scanner has four types of VEC and a leader type. Okay. Civilizations of the past had the military strength vastly exceeding ours. Good thing we preserved some of their old war machines. Is a combat simulation available to get new commands up to speed with mechanized combat? Would you like to start? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Power grid. This is the power grid. Whenever a building is damaged, it will be reduced. This is what delivers power to your mechs. So if it is reduced to zero, you lose. Okay, so that's our... In comparison to FTL, that's our ship health. Enemy attacks. Every enemy attack is forewarned. Next turn, this one will attack the buildings. Hover over an enemy to see details about its attack. Okay. Uh, uh, this is your combat mech. It can punch any adjacent tile. Select your mech now by clicking it. That's how we can move it. Move it here. Weapon use. Click on a weapon to use it. The number keys will also work as a shortcut. You may not move after you've shot a weapon. Or more, I think, used would be a better word. Now punch this enemy. They get damaged and shoved. Your enemy's uh, punch pushed this unit, will now attack a new location. Punches can save buildings from enemy attacks, or even make enemies attack each other. Okay. Uh, weapon effects. When aiming a weapon or examining an enemy attack, I can show you exactly what will happen. Pushing an arrow on the tile means a unit on the tile will be pushed. Uh, a number on the tile means the a unit on the tile will be damaged. And... Some weapons can cause multiple effects on a single tile. Okay, this is what our punch did. And we can only move that much, so we must end our turn. When all of your mechs have used an action, or there is nothing left uh, for your units to do, you can end your turn. 
It, okay, apparently those things are strong enough to shatter mountains, so definitely would have hurt buildings a lot. This is your cannon mech. It shoots a projectile that travels in a straight line until it hits another object. Okay. So if we move you here, we can attack there, which would do three damage to the buildings, but it won't get pushed, it seems. Uh, are you going to act? Or are you... Okay, do you not... Oh, wait, I have to select it. I have to select it first, okay. Valid targets. When aiming a weapon, the orange tile shows where you can shoot. Okay. That takes them out in one shot. They only had one health. You are again trying to be a little pissant by attacking a building, so... Yep. There we go. And the buildings at Max are making little comments as we go. Okay. No enemies around, but more crawl up. Okay. Oh, that's a uh, three targets. There's only oh, never mind. There are three mechs. Artillery weapons can shoot over obstacles like mountains, but cannot shoot adjacent tiles. Basic artillery in uh, art uh, in. <clears throat> RTS games, be it real-time or uh, turn-based. The artillery's mech weapon will only damage units on the center tile, while units on the adjacent tiles are pushed. So, if we take you, and then shoot here, those two get pushed into the water and instantly killed. Yep, drowning <laughs> unit. This unit fell into the water, killing it instantly. And then we can just grab you, and knock its lights out. Killing it instantly. Turn. Yes, they don't have any tur they have it acted. More of them. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, that one's quick. Uh let's see. Completing missions. Every mission you win by surviving until the VEC retreats. Okay. Bonus objectives. Uh, completing these will earn you additional resources after the battle, which will of course be useful in later missions. For now... Um, let's see you. Go there. And that will instant... Oh, oh hello! Pushing into objects. Pushing units into things deals one additional damage to both. In this case, the extra damage killed the unit. But it also harmed our unit. Okay. Um, now the smartest thing to do next oh, would be not to do that now. So let's deselect you. And... Yeah, move you back a little bit. Then you there. Now you will hit that one, which will not kill it. Uh, and it will still cause damage to the grid. But if we hadn't moved, we probably would have pushed our unit into this <laughs> water and killed our own. So, yeah. Um, uh, how can I shoot the one of them, though? Uh, these don't have any movements left. And this one can't reach oh. anything, so and turn. You can't double move. Go. Ow. This building was damaged, so our city grid uh, city power grid was reduced. Your primary goal is to prevent this. Okay, they're moving back to attack there. They are threatening that one. Uh, let's see. We can't. Um, can we reach you? No. Hmm. Actually, let's see. That will do one damage. Let's see. If we move you here. Okay, it's not a ranged attack. So we, we can't just drop that on them and kill them. Uh, you move here, and then shoot this one. Now which attack is harmless, we move you up there. Okay, no new ones are coming. And you can just 
to take that one out. And and turn. Okay, and that's a that's a success. Okay. Congratulations on your first successful mission, Commander. I'm confident in your ability to save the planet up with their such extensive training. Okay. Still 100 casualties there. Oh, uh, let's see, chat. Uh, Marco, yippee, we're getting a remake of Persona 3. Yeah, I'd heard about that. Yeah, same. So, likely to get one of uh, Persona 4 as well. Uh, unlikely to get one of Persona 5 since that's the most recent one and everything. Still on my to-do list, but that is going to be a long-term project. With a guide, just to not have to redo it a hundred times. Yeah. Okay, damage power grid. The power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. Okay, that is a problem. The back causing da cause damage before you arrive, but there will be opportunities to restore it. Okay, that is good. Every mission has different potential rewards for completing bonus objectives. You won't be able to do every mission on the island, so choose carefully. Uh, reactor core is used to upgrade your mechs. Grid power restores grid power. If you, yeah, if you zero it, lose. Corp reputation used to purchase items once the island is secure. Missions with more potential rewards will have additional dangers. Okay, so big risk and rewards. We have Novak here at the corporate HQ. We have Safeguard Valley. Um, and we have Forgotten Hills. Let's see, end, ba end battle with less than four mech damage. Protect the coal plant. Tidal waves warning. Let's go do this one because it sounds interesting. Really? You mean you don't pick it which sounds like a jab at you? <laughs> Let's see. An offshore volcano is causing tidal waves along the coast and may help wash away the back threatening the area. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Environmental effects. This mission has a special effect that will happen every turn. Select the tile icon to get more information. Let's see. This tile will become water at the start of the enemy turn. Okay, so before they can act, uh, we can put down our own mechs. So, let's see. If damage lights on fire... Okay. Put you there, you there, and let's put you there. Actually, let's put you there. Confirm. Stop that. Really? All right. Oh, they're both going after that. And there's more coming up. A lot more. Emerging enemies. An enemy unit will emerge here next turn. You can temporarily block enemies from spawning, but it will damage the blocking unit. Okay. And, oh, we are tank is already at risk of being drowned. Um, let's see. Your attack deals one damage. So you will not be able to take out anything. We could not. Hmm. Yeah, that, this is a bad start already with this one. It's um, actually. Wait, can, can you make one of them uh, fly into the water there? There. That one is going to get drowned next turn. This one will hurt this one. You need to retreat, quick. You... Let's just put you up there. You will take damage, but it will stop them from spawning. Uh, let's see. Marco, this seems like a mecha fire emblem to me. <laughs> sort of. Very okay. limited on the uh, point of view. And turn. We are going to take damage. Oh, oh wait. It's, it's a flying one. Nope. We can't risk that building being hit again. Grid defense. This building resisted damage. The chance of a building resisting damage is shown on the right of your power grid. 50. Okay, so that's what that means. Um, lucky over that. Yeah, back. It's flying, so of course it won't drown. Okay. 
damage max. Your max will repair automatically repair all damage after battle. Okay, I thought that would persist as well. So yeah, it is better to let your max get hit than the buildings get hit. If a mech is reduced to zero health, the pilot dies and the mech is disabled for the rest of that battle. Okay, that's bad, of course. Oh, what? Okay, that one's shooting there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is not an easy game. You did yeah. take... Well, did, did you pick hard or normal? Normal. Vec Scion. This enemy Scion provides a passive bonus to all other Vec. Killing it removes the bonus. Hold left control while hover over the, hovering over the Scion to investigate its ability. Okay. Uh, it's flying, so it can move over any tile. All other Vec receive one, plus one HP as long as the Scion is living. Okay. And we... Yeah, webs. This unit has been whipped. Whipped units cannot move, but they can still attack. So the best you can do right now is to just punch that thing. There is something trying to come up underneath. Um, oh, be safe, Marco. Good luck at the store. Okay, see you next time. Let's move you here and do this. Oh, oh wait, there's, they're still going to hit something. And, oh, we do have a bonus uh, side objective to protect this one, so I guess that is somewhat useful. The sign is going to get hit now. Um, if we do this, that is going to cause damage ourselves. So that was a bit of a dumb. But, yeah. It at least caused damage. That's a miss. That's a hit. And that's a hit on friendly fire. Our tank is almost dead. Or our mech is almost dead. Uh, yeah, it's obvious to see that uh, this game is pretty tricky. So, yeah. all we can do there is kill you. Um. Yeah, I recall the YouTubers was playing this. Oh, wait. Did sometimes get stuck on these? Okay, this the mech is going to get killed here. Uh, we can take you out. We can't move past enemies. Burning forest. The fur uh, forest on this tile took damage, turning it into fire. When the unit stands on fire, it will ignite and take damage every turn. Okay. And, yeah, we're going to lose the mech. Oh. oh, actually, no, we are not. Wait, the mech can stand in water? Okay. Mech cannot use its weapons while standing in water, but it can survive in water. That is... Okay, so... <laughs> okay, that was a lucky save. But we did take quite a bit of grid power damage. We did get yeah. a bit restored, but still... Hmm... Okay, characters got experience from that. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah. A tough game, to say the least. And yeah, I, similar to FTL, it, it is a good game, but I don't think it would be good for our type of streaming because yeah. yeah. In and part, again. I'm not smart enough to, and in part, it would just be mostly me. It would just mostly be me banging my head against the wall over and over again. Yeah. Okay. And we don't have no bandages for that. So, let's call it a bit early on this one. Depend on timeline, end this attempt, and send the pilot back in time to try again. Yep. Okay, select one pilot to continue the fight in your next timeline. We have... Well, you have the most experience. So let's send you back. Okay, so base... This is... So we do get... <clears throat> we do get some things that continue on between things. If we keep 
if we keep training up one uh, pilot to be strong, uh, more experienced, does hopefully better each time, that would give us an edge eventually, if they don't die. So, yeah, would definitely be interesting, and this game overall is rated very highly, but it is just not really for our style. Yeah. Sorry, folks. So, Again, yeah. It... Uh, 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 as you it. All the games we've seen into doesn't mean they are bad. Just they either bad or may not suit uh, our streaming style. Yeah, it's not to say that we would never stream uh, those games, but not on our typical main quest streams and such. And hello, okay. Uh, do you know Joss Strive Hayes, perhaps? Who? Oh. Okay, they're, they're a YouTuber who mostly does uh, videos on MMOs, uh, just looking for bad, yeah, reviewing MMOs more, uh, even though the show is called Worst MMO Ever. Oh, okay, then. Okay, then I may see it on days. I probably just not paid attention to YouTube's name. Okay, they, they are pretty good. They generally tend to be objective with their uh, judgment and uh, pretty funny as well. But they have a side uh, channel, which is called Joss Drive Plays, with a show, uh, with a series called Was It Good? And apparently they are <laughs> in, let's see, 14 minutes, they will be premiering an episode of that on MDK. So I know what I'm going to do in a bit. <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, let's move over to Twitch. And then move over the screen share to that as well, so we can go look for someone to raid. Uh, yeah, ending it a bit early, but we have literally run out of games to show. Yeah, and that's this the is first rare. with eight. <laughs> this, I just, I think this is the first time we've had that happen with eight games prepared. Uh, am I going to need to re prepare ten uh, games in the future? I think the second time. Uh, For, okay. Didn't this happen last month? Uh, not sure. So technically, we didn't fully showcase Indivisible, so technically it's not all games that have been showcased. Uh, yeah, I, I'll try to get it running again. Hopefully, just a reinstall will work. Otherwise, we'll have to go look around for uh, fixes. Just yeah, before the stream yesterday, when I was testing it to see if it played nice with OBS, it worked. So... I don't know why it's refusing to work now or refusing to show and tell. The... <laughs> okay, I I walked into that one accidentally. <laughs> but yeah, before we go look for someone to raid, there's not too many people on, so I'm guessing, I, I think I know who we're going to end up raiding. Uh, the summary, Hunt Down? I'd say a, a yes. It looks like a fun little side game. I also say yes. Do a bit increase to do a we do a little quick research perhaps to double check that it actually have more story parts. And, uh, and also of course how long to beat. Yeah, how and then hunt down. Uh let's see, six hours? Okay, short enough for just a fun little side thing. <clears throat> and yeah, hide Rainier. No for Full streaming, maybe just relax or multiplayer relax stream. ICBM, I'm just going to veto that one immediately. Uh, just, I don't would not find that enjoyable at all. Immortal Redneck, um, I'm putting that one as a... Uh, I, I would probably put that as a no for... I think it's less story and more... Uh, Parody. Fun. Uh, what? Parody and just uh, more aimed for gameplay and such. Yeah, parody and gameplay. Let's see, does this game even have multiplayer or something? Because Gunfire Reborn at least has that as well. To f just have add to the mayhem. I'm pretty sure the, the Red Egg Man is older than uh, Gunfire Reborn. Uh, I'm pretty sure I watched that to... before Envy met you. Okay. Um, indecision. Uh, I don't think we have to be indecisive about that one and say it as a no. Um, 
Indivisible is on <laughs> to be judged, but it is likely a yes. And then we have Instant Dungeon, that's also a no, and Into the Breach. Again, good game, not our style though. Yeah. Yeah, because we'd want we'd prefer to just uh not meaning to rush through games, but to just start get a start point, get an end point, and not have to run through it over and over again like a time loop so until yeah. we do get to the end. Yeah, like we, we like we will do RTS and such. Yes, we and will we be have. careful which ones we pick. But yeah, we have. Yeah. And I do want to do some of them. Uh, at the very least, the Battle for Middle Earth games. I'll just have to. I still have to figure out how to get my new CD player to function properly with my computer. I think it's not liking the USB hub that I'm using, so I'll just have to plug it in directly, see if that works. And yeah, yeah because the, the fan patched version of Retur uh, Battle for Middle Earth 1, I think the fans have rebalanced some things, which. Uh, gets it to the point that I can't get past the Helm's Deep level. So, yeah, I'll have to check out the original CD copy, which I do have, uh, to see if that works any better. Because, yeah, even on freaking easy, I can't get past it. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, let's not forget Dawn of War. Uh, that as well, yeah. Uh, that might actually be the next one after we're done with Doom and Doom Eternal. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but for now, who to raid? We have Sour Walrus, who is online with Final Fantasy 16. Then we have I'm Nice with Monster Hunter World. Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Deep Rock Galactic. Ruffy Raccoon is playing Star Wars The Old Republic. And Kanai is again streaming Dungeons & Dragons online, but we raided them yesterday, so I'd say that this qualifies them for being raided at the moment. Um, yeah, I actually reinstalled that game, and apparently I, either something went wrong or I'm on the wrong server with it because my rogue that I had with it is gone. So, yeah. Anyways, any of those to raid, or should we look at another one in the recommenders? I guess they recommended this time. I see okay. someone playing Total War. Let's see. We have Mixo Lydia, who is streaming Shadows of Doubt, which is a is a procedurally no, it's not procedurally generated. It's a, a detective a detective game where in where in the the worlds you start in is randomly generated, and well, crimes are randomly generated. Uh, very interesting. But when I tried the demo of it, I just got completely stuck. So part of the enjoyment of that game you get is from how well the generation goes, because you can't just get completely stuck. Then we have Arthur Sparks, who is streaming Stray. The Linguin Ghost, who is just chatting at the moment. Let me mute the tab so we can take a little peek. Uh, my office is in a furnace, what? Oh, oh, they're painting models. We have Riff Slider with Guess the Game. Okay, they've got the warning up of that. Uh, oh, that's actually just a, a browser game. Just guess the game from a picture. Okay. Uh, Wabella Balam is streaming Total Warhammer 3. And then last but not least, and they recommended we have Hisaya Rozier streaming Street Fighter 6. I'm guessing you want to uh, go raid the Warhammer? I'm going to raid them. For, we have raided them before. Okay. Long ago. Let's see. To copy the name. Head over to our place. And slash raid paste. Uh, hold on a second. Wasn't there something with their chat or something? Okay, I, I there was someone who we raided a while ago who had followers only chat or something. Yeah, which, that's if you're Selkovich. getting harassed or something, but still annoying because yeah, basically you're forcing people to give you a follow to even have the ability to talk. Again, in some cases that is good if you're being harassed by jackasses and such. Um, 
but can't say if that was happening at the time with whoever that was. Yeah, mm. is it double edged sword? Anyways, slash raid and paste. Uh, but yeah, before we start with that, we will be continuing with you know, the Prince of Persia, the Forgotten Sands tonight in about three ish hours. And uh, yeah, tomorrow day off. Maybe I'll do a test stream to try and think, try well, to try out some changed things. I want to try out that new uh, audio feature where it just takes the audio from a game itself and not just from the desktop. That way I could uh, have some other stuff active as well. And well, uh, yeah, we'll see with that. And uh, there was something else I wanted to try out, but I've forgotten it. Uh, oh, right. Trying to get VC face to run on the integrated graphics card instead of the, uh, the big boy, the three, uh, the 3070 to give that a bit of space. Still need to fully unlock that thing, I think. But after that, I need a keyboard with an old connection so I can get into the bio system. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah, I can't think of anything else besides I really hope we finish the Forgotten Sands today. Yeah, because I... Like, maybe some stuff in the, the Jin City is going to become interesting, but just the first half of the game, just no. It, it really feels more like an ha a half-assed Dynasty Warrior with the combat system. But just like, Again, combat in Prince of Persia wasn't that deep to begin with, but at least with a sub-weapon, you could well, change up your attacks other than just cut, cut, Cuts, 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 cuts. Maybe yeah, throw in a right. special power which uses the same energy as your rewinds. Just badly yeah, thought out, like, if you ask me. I feel like it, they did improve them each time from one, two, and three. But uh, the 08 and especially this one, the, this was probably the weakest guest they had. Like, that, this is the thing. Even Dynasty Warriors have give you more variety of attacks. Yeah. So they, and, I guess yeah. they did a heavily nerfed version of Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, like I said, a half-assed version. And 08, you still had... You didn't just have your slash, you also had grab, you had Elika to attack, you had acrobatics to add into mix, and... It, there it still just also had this just the plain spectacle of the fights as you went through it. The Forgotten Sands, honestly, I'd say it deserves to be forgotten itself. Yeah, I think that's actually what uh, Matt McMuscle said in one of his videos to a few of them. Okay, but for now, uh, before we start off the raid, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Marco and Fufi, for watching along a bit. I hope you'll both have a good day. And thank you, as always, as well, Drakir. You work as always, my friend. And with that, we'll start the raids. And yeah, Forgotten Sounds, hopefully finished tonight. Um, if not, we'll see if we'll even bother to finish it. Yeah, this is beginning. You know what? Yeah. Uh, uh, th this is up to you, Ilian. That we can consider this Sunday stream of it a last chance. Yeah. But for now, uh, yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. This time I didn't trip over my tongue with, <laughs> my with the outro. Be safe, everyone. Watch out for seagulls. I'm about to go and trip Ilian with a tree log. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.